Super excited guys, Phantom Sonic. It's been in test for about a month now. It's really starting to turn some heads. They've just amped up some new testing, which we're gonna go into. That looks pretty cool. I wanna do some comparisons there for you. And also just quickly go through and show you the tech. But um, it's at the end of the day, I'm really, really excited about this being now on testnet. Phantom do things right, right? They they go out there, they test it, they put it through its paces. They've got it there in a closed test net. There's some other environments that you can do some of your own public testing. But for now, um, just seeing what we're seeing in the public uh, test net is fantastic. They just amped some things up over the last few days and it's it's really started to hit its straps there. So what's, what is Phantom Sonic? Let's go through some of the technical details, give you a little bit of an understanding. Um, but effectively, it's, it's the FVM which is completely uh, compatible with the EVM. So that might make a lot of sense now, but once we go through some of these diagrams here, it's gonna be pretty clear on exactly how important it is that it, that it works like that. So effectively you've got here at the moment, you know, this was the last test I was doing 2000 transactions per second at finality. And the biggest thing is that this is at finality, right? And this is super, super important. You can't have transactions approving, you know, six days down the track, you need them to be final straight away so that it's 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 plastered then on the blockchain, it's final, that there's nothing that can be done to change that transaction. So that's super, super important when you're gonna to go to the applications that I'm sure the foundation are looking to uh, to put into this environment. So Sonic Testnet, um, the environment, there's the closed testnet. We're gonna go in and show you the new one. This was an article from about a month ago. But um, if we just roll down here, and I wanna show you behind the scenes, and let's just take a quick look at the Phantom Virtual Machine and exactly how it works. But I think the biggest thing to take away from this is that what the EVM does is it stores the FVM code. So, so, so effectively, you can have an EVM come across with your EVM code, the FVM will then process it. So there's like a converter, which then makes this actually interact with you know, your standard Solidity, Viper, that sort of stuff. So that is something that's huge. And I suppose it's something that, that people have been asking questions about how will it interact. But what we're seeing here is that it will allow the deployed smart contracts to, to stay in EVM bytecode, but then it'll translate that at a high level source code. That's what they're saying there in Solidity or, or say Viper or something like that. Now that's huge, right? Then it comes through the virtual machine and you get your, you know, your, your memory and your, your stack and state DB and all the technical terms that were, that were not all across. But I think the other, the other key thing that you wanna see is what they're doing and that's the next part, which is that common database storage. Now, that is a really, really big change. And my understanding is that it's gonna have this live pruning. So um, from the little amount of research I did, it seems that that you'll be able to have your, your system pruning. And in the past, you would probably have to take the node down, that process or that validator that's processing transactions because you're gonna get a lot of, um, you know, sort of stuff that starts to like build up there, like memory and that on, on, on your deployment. So you might have to restart your, um, your node or something like that. Whereas at the moment, now with this new system, it's gonna be doing live pruning. So you'll just be able to continue and it will have a live DB and an archive DB, which will allow it to prune on the fly, which is huge, right? That's just, the other thing too that was gonna come from that was also that the storage requirement has really dropped. So, you, you know, from what you needed like 2000 gigabytes of storage before you need like a server, now you, you're able to do it with 300 gigabytes. So we're seeing it really reduced down in the, the requirements of, of that infrastructure. Makes a big difference, right? And then we've got Lexus, which was out for a while now, but this is the, the unique um, consensus mechanism that allows and powers Opera. So there's some pretty cool stuff here, but I think the main thing to take from this is that you've got that, that Carmen database storage, which is, which is very unique and, and, and also powering this system. But then that, that, that converter here from EVM to FEM is huge, right? Because it allows people to just continue to deploy code as they were. It allows it to be cross compatible and it stores a cache of it so, it so it then speeds it up. So it's changing a lot of things here, pretty good. Let's go into what's happening in the closed testnet. As you can see, 4,000 transactions, um, 1.37 seconds to finality, okay? So that's huge. Now, they've, they've changed the mix a little bit here. A lot of these are swaps and things. 
which is a lot of what's going on on the network anyway, you know, that there's a lot of swaps and they've just targeted this to a little bit of a different situation. And we're seeing exactly how fast it can process to finality 4,000 transactions in a second, okay? Uh, in 1.37 seconds. But let's take a look at then the transactions per day. 343 million transactions. Now I'm gonna go and quickly show you something to show you how powerful this is. So let's go and have a look at Visa. They're doing 0.66 billion um, or 660 million transactions uh, per day in 2022 when this was taken. So Sonic is performing at half the daily transactions that was processed, that, that, that's processed by Visa. So I think that really shows you the power of where this can be taken. This is you know, a really good example of what we're gonna see next year deployed onto Phantom, and it's gonna take Phantom to the next level.